Uh, hey there everybody, just doing a review for this Power Queen Lithium Iron and Phosphate 1280 Watt Hour Capacity Battery. Um, and also doing a review for this Alpha 1500 Watt Pure Sine Wave Inverter. So this is kind of a dual review, I suppose you could say. Um, I've already done a review for quite a few of these uh, type of deep cycle, 12.8 uh, volt, uh, 100 amp hour deep cycle batteries that use a lithium iron phosphate. And you know, this is just another one uh, from a pretty well-known brand called uh, Power Queen. Um, they're a competitor, you know, with a uh, Redodo and a uh, Lead Time. Um, I know I have a review on my YouTube channel called Amper Time, um, 100 amp hour battery review, but they changed their name over to Lead Time. But uh, yeah, anyways, um, this is just another deep cycle battery battery review that I'm taking a look at. And so, just taking a look at the unit, it does have a 13 by six by eight inch of form factor and it weighs about 24 pounds i'm going to be getting more into the alpha inverter right over here in just a second but let me just go over what what's going on with the uh, uh power queen battery first and so it does have a 1280 watt hour capacity so that means it's able to input 1280 watts and output 1280 watts and so this type of capacity deep cycle battery is a pretty good option um when it comes to uh you know just general usage because you know it just has a really good capacity and a uh, wattage output capability as well and so in the box you do get um four post bolts i already have two on the battery right there and so these are the other two uh, post bolts you get these uh, two rubber covers that you can place on top of the uh, positive and negative terminals on the battery you also get the manual and um this uh, pretty helpful sheet that just gives you a uh, bunch of information such as a uh, notice before use operating precautions and uh just over on the side connecting precautions do's and don'ts and uh, yeah, this is the manual right over here. I'm um, just taking a quick look at it. I mean, I'm not gonna go through it all, but uh, yeah, this is just what's going on in the product overview. As you can see, operating voltage, charging voltage, uh, max continuous load of power, max continuous charging discharge current is uh, 100 amps. And uh, so yeah, and also yeah, just a um, pretty regular uh, lithium iron phosphate deep cycle battery with a 100 amp hour capacity um you know i'm gonna hope i'm hoping that performs well in my testing i will be doing a um, battery capacity test in just a second and just taking a look around over the battery i mean it's just like any other batteries that i've reviewed oh boy yeah that 24 pounds is pretty heavy in one hand um it does have this handle right at the top um just like other batteries you can actually remove this by just um sliding this out and going like this and just scrunching it up and just taking it out like that um you know the handle is going to be pretty useful when you want to move around the battery um but yeah it is removable so it doesn't always have to be here okay there we go and over on this side it just shows the 12.8 uh, volts and 100 amp hour um uh, specs and uh you know they really want to make sure that you know that this is a lithium iron phosphate deep cycle battery as i mentioned a few times already before <laughs> Okay, um, anyways, uh, yeah, it's just putting the Power Queen battery aside, uh, Alpha uh, did send over this uh, 1500 watt pure sine wave inverter. Uh, this one has about a 12 by 6 by 3.5 inch form factor, and it weighs about like, I think 6 pounds, and so nothing too heavy about the inverter. And uh, over on this side, uh, just taking a look at the spec sheet right over here, because um, I forgot what these uh, two screens are supposed to display. Um, so this screen right over here is supposed to display the uh, AC voltage and current meter. And right over here, this is the DC voltage meter. And the and you get uh, two AC outlets, uh, two charging ports that are rated for about 10 watts each. And this is the um, off and on switch. And so yeah, 1500 watts for a inverter is uh, really good. You're gonna be able to um, power uh, many appliances with it over here on this side this is where you're going to be setting up the uh, cables to connect to the batteries and so alpha also did send me these uh two i think these are 12 inch um uh, terminal cables that i'm going to be connecting to the inverter and um then to the battery so i can actually power the inverter in the first place <laughs> and uh, so yeah i'm just going to see how it performs i'm hoping it performs uh, really well i'm probably going to test it out with the heater using my lasco heater that i usually use in my um deep cycle battery reviews um, especially for this uh, 1280 watt hour capacity one uh, because I'm able to place the heater on its high setting and really push this inverter to its limit. And I'll also be uh, testing out the AC capacity output of this uh, deep cycle battery uh, through this alpha inverter to see how the uh, power translates from the uh, power queen battery through the um, alpha inverter. And so yeah, overall nothing too complicated happening here. Uh, the inverter is uh, pretty well built. It feels like it's made of aluminum. This is definitely not plastic. Um, at least that's what I feel. I'm gonna go ahead and get the power queen battery set up for its uh, battery capacity test to see how much of the uh, 
capacity I can actually use from the unit. Um, we should be able to achieve nearly 100%, but yeah, just gonna get that started and I'm gonna be right back. All right, guys, so I have begun the uh, battery capacity efficiency test using this uh, load tester right over here. Um, you know, I just started it about a minute ago. Um, you know, I currently have a 120 watt output going on uh, for the battery. And uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna come back once the battery capacity reaches 0% and the uh, load tester is turned off to check on the battery capacity efficiency uh, to see how much of that 1280 watt hour capacity I can actually pull uh, from this battery. Um, you know, deep cycle batteries like this usually are supposed to have near a 100% efficiency. Um, at least that's been the case for other batteries that I've reviewed, such as the Redodo battery and the lead time battery. And uh, so, yeah, let's just hope that this one lives up to those other uh, brand batteries. And I will be right back. All right, you guys. So I did finish up the capacity test for the Power Queen um, battery. And so what I ended up with after about 10 hours and 47 minutes was a 1,268 watt hour capacity. That gave me about a 99% efficiency rating uh, for this Power Queen battery. And so the capacity efficiency uh, for this battery is uh, great. Um, it's on par with other lithium iron phosphate batteries that I've reviewed, and that's no different here. So I was able to achieve nearly 100% efficiency uh, with the capacity. And so, yeah, I mean, it's just on par with other batteries. So that's good to know. And so uh, with that said, let me get my alpha inverter right over here uh, hooked up to the battery, and I'm going to begin uh, some appliance testing and you know this will be like the uh part of the review where i review kind of battery and the alpha inverter at the same time and uh so yeah i will be right back all right guys so just back with the alpha uh, 1500 pure sine wave inverter i do have it connected to the power queen battery right over here um, and you know, setting it up was pretty easy, especially because on the alpha um, inverter, they have these uh, easy tightening knobs for the uh, terminal cables. So you're not dealing with any um, screws over on this side. But of course, when it came to the Power Queen battery um, post bolts, I did have to unscrew them and screw them back on for the uh, terminal cables to hold tight. But uh, yeah, that's about it really, um, pretty easy. These cables aren't exactly the longest, but you know, they sent they sent these uh, cables over for me to use and they work just fine. Um, and so yeah, after I uh, connected the uh, cables to the inverter, I just uh, switched it on using the power switch. And uh, so right over here is gonna be the uh, volt DC voltage meter. Um, I suppose this is like basically telling me the battery capacity of the Power Queen battery, right? I think, isn't that what it is? Um, Correct me down in the comments if, if I'm wrong. The other screen is covered because I have this watt meter connected uh, to the inverter. And the reason why I have this, um, and the reason why I have the Power Queen battery uh, handle right underneath the inverter is because <laughs> otherwise I couldn't plug in this um, watt meter simply because it was like too long for me to plug in. So I just had to raise the inverter just a little bit for me to plug in the uh, watt meter. But uh, yeah, even even now though, the uh, watt meter isn't even plugged in all the way because of this lip right up here on the alpha inverter. Um, but yeah, you know what? It's just good enough. At least it's powered on. Um, as you can see, the uh, screen behind the watt meter is showing the uh, AC voltage and the current. And so what I'm gonna be doing right now is that I'm gonna be measuring the uh, watt hour capacity. I'm able to pull from the power queen battery uh, through the alpha inverter um, using this uh, Lasco heater right over here. You know, I've done this test um, with my other uh, lithium iron phosphate deep cycle battery re battery reviews. And so I'm just gonna run the heater on its high setting probably until the power queen battery um, is uh, fully depleted of its, of its capacity. This is basically gonna um, tell me the AC capacity efficiency, I suppose you could say, of this power queen battery. And uh, also this is gonna um, let me know how this uh, alpha inverter is able to perform uh, because it should be able to power uh, this Lasco heater on its high setting, which pulls about 1400 watts, I think. And uh, right up here, as you can see, the uh, inverter does have a power light that turns on once you have it turned on. All right, and so I'm just gonna go ahead and start using the inverter uh, with the Lasco heater to see how it performs. I'm just gonna set it to its uh, low setting first to see how it performs. And then, and then I'm gonna move on to the high setting. Uh, for the heater and so yeah, we should be pulling about 750 watts. I believe we're at about uh, 812 watts um, Yeah, so yeah, there we go. The uh, Voltage for the battery is a uh, 12.8 volts But yeah, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and set the uh, Lasco heater to its uh, high setting to see what happens. All right There we go, and so now we're at high and so this should pull about uh, 1400 watts I believe which is uh, right on the cusp of the uh, max output of the uh, alpha inverter and uh, it should be able to handle this even though it's uh, pretty high and i think the uh, cutoff uh, for this inverter is uh, is like about 1800 watts 
Uh, but let me just take a look at the specifications of the inverter first. Uh, yeah, peak power, actually peak power is uh, 1700 watts and uh, AC overload protection is 1800 watts uh, for the inverter. Okay, yeah, there we go. It seems to be running really well. Uh, I thought it was gonna be 1400 watts, but uh, 1300 watts is uh, close enough. And uh, with that said, I'm just gonna let it run. I'm just gonna let the uh, heater run uh, with the uh, inverter um, and just let it run continuously until the battery capacity is at 0% to see uh, what happens, just to make sure that the uh, inverter is uh, able to continuously supply power uh, from the battery and uh, be able to power this heater. And uh, yeah, I'll be right back, you guys. All right, I just wanted to do a quick update while, while I'm doing this uh, heater test. Um, the fans for the alpha inverter did kick on, and uh, that's what they sound like. I'm not sure if you can hear that or not. Let me just take the uh, camera closer in. Um, so yeah, they're definitely audible. You can absolutely hear the fans. Um, are they more uh, bothersome than the uh, Renergy 2000 watt inverter that I usually use to review deep cycle batteries? Um, I mean, it's on par, honestly. It just like, you know, has that humming sound coming from the fans because they're spinning really quickly. Uh, but yeah, you know, you can hear them. Um, you know, these type of uh, inverters do have fans that run pretty quickly to keep the unit cool. You know, it's what you can expect. Of course, the fans were going to turn on eventually, especially with such a high load of 1300 watts. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that and like let you guys hear the uh, internal fans uh, for this inverter. And uh, yeah, I'll be right back. And I also forgot to test out if the uh, inverter is actually outputting pure sine wave since this is a pure sine wave inverter. Um, and it is. Uh, I have my meter right over here and it looks like the uh, inverter is outputting pure sine wave. In case you're wondering if it uh, does or doesn't, um, it seems like it is. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's what's happening right there. Although it's a bit like something's happening right there with the waves. I'm not too sure if that's a problem or not. But uh, yeah, I, I just want to show you guys that in case you're wondering. All right, you guys, so I did run down the capacity for the Power Queen battery, probably down to 0%, because what happened was when I was powering the heater, um, it started beeping and uh, the uh, green power light started to turn red. And uh, yeah, it was basically telling me that it couldn't pull any more power from the battery. And uh, eventually I just uh, shut it off because, you know, it just kept beeping. And so what I ended up with was a 1,100 watt hour capacity uh, pulled from the battery through the AC inverter. So I suppose you could say this is the AC capacity efficiency of the Power Queen battery um, through this uh, specific alpha inverter, that is. And uh, I do have the uh, watt meter powered from this uh, Grow Watt Vita 550 power station because obviously I can't turn on the inverter right now. It literally just won't turn on if I just switch it on right now. Yeah, nothing's happening right here. But uh, yeah, I did get uh, 1,100 watt hours and that gave me about an 85% efficiency rating uh, or 86% in case you want to round up or not. But uh, yeah, overall, uh, this fits into most other uh, AC capacity testing through an inverter that I've done with other de with other deep cycle batteries. And uh, so yeah, you're able to use most of the capacity from an inverter that is. All right, guys, so just back doing one more test with the Power Queen battery and the Alpha inverter. Uh, so I'm just doing the, uh, you know, classic four cups of water in a saucepan um, boiling test. And I do have my uh, electric cooktop right over here plugged into the alpha inverter. Just going to place it on the cooktop right here. And I'm just going to set it to its highest setting. And uh, this cooktop is rated for, I think, 1,000 watts. Uh, but I think it, like, pulls about 900 watts. Um, as you can see on the uh, watt meter, I'm pulling about 850 watts. And, uh, yeah, I'm just going to come back uh, once the water starts boiling to see if the if the uh, inverter is actually able to power it um i did recharge the uh i did recharge the power queen battery back to 100 percent and um if you're wondering what's happening back there with this uh, power station um i'm working on a separate review for this uh, duran ener neo neo uh, 2000 power station that's a a pretty large beast um i'm just doing the dc capacity test right over here but uh yeah that's something completely different it, it doesn't have anything to do with this review that i'm doing right now but uh, yeah, anyways, um, I'm just going to come back once the uh, water starts boiling and I'm just going to see if the uh, inverter is actually able to power this cooktop um, as it should be able to because for a 1000 watt cooktop and a 1500 watt inverter, it should be able to power this cooktop con con continuously. And also I'm going to see how much uh, capacity I use in this case. Oh, whoops. I forgot to reset that. My bad. Okay, there we go. Um, so yeah, I guess the uh, watt hour capacity. Um, that I'm measuring right over here in order in order to uh, boil the water isn't going to be really accurate, but um, I'm just going to take a look at it anyways, even though I just reset it and I had the cooktop running for about a minute so far. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to be right back once the water starts boiling to see 
um, if everything runs smoothly. All right, guys, so back after about 10 minutes and the water is boiling. Um, well, it was boiling, I think, about a minute or two ago, but I was busy doing something else. But uh, yeah, anyways, um, still pulling about 850 watts uh, from the inverter. And I've used about 130 watt hours uh, from the uh, Power Queen battery. And uh, so yeah, I mean, you can easily just cook some food, um, you know, along with the battery and the inverter if you wanted to. And it performed really well. Um, and also the fan is on, as you can probably hear it. And uh, yeah, that's really about it when it comes to reviewing this uh, Alpha inverter. And um, and the uh, Power Queen battery. And so overall, the uh, Power Queen battery and the Alpha inverter um, perform how they're supposed to, um, you know, with the battery capacity efficiency and the output wattage, um, you know, from the battery and the inverter, they just like matched up really well. And I will have a link to the product page for the Power Queen battery and the Alpha inverter down in the description below. I will also have a link to the review article uh, for the battery and the inverter as well. You can find both those things down in the description. And uh, I will see you all on the next video. All right. Goodbye.